Well, we're lucky enough to have a Wisconsin celebrity in our studio today. Don't have to be silly. <laughs> Joining us now is the one and only Alice in Dairy Land, but you are not here to talk about dairy, which is what I'm sure many people would assume, given the title and the exactly. sash. Uh, we're actually here, you're here to talk about cranberries today. Yes, yeah, so Wisconsin agriculture is so diverse. Like you said, it's more than dairy, although mm -hmm. dairy is a large part of what we do yep. here in Wisconsin. We've got cranberries, and Wisconsin is number one in cranberry production. Which I did not know that until today. I knew that we were up there. I did not know that we were number one. Neither did Amy, so that's Exactly. Good I taught news you for something Wisconsin. today. Yes, I learned something. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right, so we're number one in production. We are, and production harvest just got done mm -hmm. this past October, so we're waiting to hear the numbers for this year, but if everything goes as planned, we're scheduled to bring in about 4.5 million barrels of cranberries this year. That's a, that's a lot of barrels of cranberries. It is, and it would be another great production year for Wisconsin. That would be a great production, which is nice to hear because after the drought that we had uh, this summer, a lot of... Uh, people that work in the agricultural industry were really hurting. So yes. here's at least one segment where something kind of went right. Exactly. <laughs> and you also told me too, I learned this, uh, the, the raw cranberry is not so good just to eat. They're tart. Yeah, so they're if tart. you enjoy tart things, cranberries are definitely a great thing to snack on. Obviously they come in different forms as you see here in my display. Mm -hmm. And if everything, like I said, goes as scheduled with our harvest mm -hmm. being as great as it should be, that would make Wisconsin's running streak of being number one in the production of cranberries in the nation going on for 18 years. So that's something oh, okay. that we're very proud of here in the state. What part of the state, out of curiosity, produces the most amount of cranberries? Central and northern Wisconsin are where our cranberries grow because the soil type is acidic mm -hmm. and cranberries really like that type of soil. Very sandy region and um, it's just perfect for growing cranberries. Uh, one of the myths that I heard you mention earlier is that cranberries grow in water. They do not grow in water and I, I blame those, what is it, those ocean spray commercials yes. where the guys <laughs> are standing there and the waiters surrounded by the cranberries. They actually don't grow in water. They don't. If you are driving through central or northern Wisconsin, you'll see bogs which are kind of cut down into the ground mm -hmm. and that's where the cranberries grow. They grow in vines okay. and those plants mature at about seven years old so it takes a while to for them to be up to speed, ready to produce these berries that you see here. And so they grow in the bogs, mm -hmm. in those sandy soils, mm -hmm. and once harvest time is ready, once the berries have turned red, and they say, hey, we're ready to be picked, the bogs are then flooded. Okay. And that um, is when the machinery goes through and it rakes the berries off of the vines. When is harvest time? Because I know you said that it just wrapped up, but is there yeah. like a window, a, a month or so window, where the cranberries are actually harvested? Well, the fresh cranberries that I received here mm -hmm. were at the Warren's Cranberry Festival, which was at the end of September. So that's kind of when they started harvesting this year, and they just wrapped up here at the end of October. Okay. So that's well, the window. Rochelle, we appreciate you stopping by and yes. sharing some cranberry knowledge with us. Uh, we'll see you back here next month, okay? Yes. Right. Buy Wisconsin cranberries for Buy Thanksgiving. Buy Wisconsin cranberries. Go do it because Rochelle said so. 